All right, we're going to go ahead and put the shaft in. Put it in from the uh, pulley side. Slip it through the bearing. We can put a set screw collar, quarter inch set screw collar. By the way, this is a just a quarter inch round uh, rod that you can get at uh, Home Depot or Ace Hardware anywhere. Uh, so slide that one collar on. Next thing to go on is going to be the uh, little wheel with the magnet in it. By the way, the magnet, um, a little dab of super glue under it just to hold that magnet in so it won't fall out. That's a little tight on the shaft, so you got to kind of force it. Then you got another collar that goes on. And then it goes through the other bearing. And I want to try to keep the uh, equal amount of shaft sticking out on each side. So I'm measuring with a with a ruler here. Looks like this side's got about an inch and a quarter. And that side about an inch and a sixteenth. So I'm going to go just a little bit. A little bit further. Let's see what that looks like. About an inch and an eighth on each side now. So what I'll do is slide this uh, one set screw collar, slide it back just a hair to give a little clearance on this uh, on the pulley here so it's not rubbing. Give just a little bit of clearance there and slide this collar all the way up against that side and tighten the uh, Set screw with the Allen wrench. Okay, that's tight. Now bring this other one over and have it all the way up against the uh, bearing on this side. Tighten the set screw. That way the shaft can't slip back and forth. Now we need to move this uh, little wooden wheel over. Give it about a 3 sixteenths of an inch off that magnet. And if we need to, uh, we'll adjust that. Uh, next thing to do is we'll put the counter in. 